So this is Christopher. Christopher, what is your objective for the day? Oh, I'm going to come down for you. The objective today is to take $40. Yesterday was $25, today's $40. And allow intuition, the highest intuition, to lead us to a person who really needs the $40 or who really wants it or who asks for it. So open to whatever that may be. So we're going to go out and see who that is and film it. So we're here with Christopher and a good friend of Christopher's. Just met him. New friend, Steve. Steve got a portion of that 40 bucks that we intended today. But uh, Steve, what's your mission? What's your vision, man? Uh, Why are you here? Well, I'm always here to, you know, I just follow God's light, how it, how it trips in my dreams, you know. So I have a lot of skills, but I always make sure it's, it's not my will, but God's will. So I could say my mission. I have a few things, a few different directions my life could go in. And so instead of me trying to force it, I just meditate and pray and say, show me, speed up my karmic life. So I don't have to wait two, three lifetimes. I can just have it happen now. So I have a couple visions where I'm public figure, a couple of visions where I'm off doing, you know, hardcore Tai Chi, 10, 12 hours a day and just tripping around, you know. So you never know. I'm not quite sure. You know, my vision is always just clear your ego out. And, you know, like I said, make sure the magic is God's magic reflecting through you rather than your ego saying it's God's magic because that's where you get in trouble. And Here's a question for you. Is there any other magic or miracle that is not of God or is it all from God? Well, I think, family? you know, I think people have strong wills and so, you know, you can, you can create energy because your, your mind's... But my reality that I've learned over the years is that if it's your willpower doing the magic, um, it tends not always to end up so good. And even if you create something, the whole point of doing the magic is to progress your life so you have different insights. So over the years I've learned if it's just your willpower creating it, uh, you know, even if it's good, how, how good, how good is it? You know, I mean, really, I mean, and you know, you can have all different types of God, but it's not like, you know, Christian God, but I have my perception of it. But even if it's good and it's just your ego and it's not, not attached to anything else, how, how good can it be? You know, you know, don't yeah. you say from maybe this point forward, this is a message for you to tap back into whatever that is that you oh, tapped into. I'm tapped, in, good. I'm tapped into that reality 24 hours a day, 26 hours a day. Uh, you know, uh, I was that way even before 10 years ago. And 10 years ago, I was in a 12-day coma. And my soul was about this far out. So even before then, I was tapped into that. You know, even more tapped into it now when you, when you spend a year where your soul sort of coordinates with your body and you can actually watch your soul come back into your body it, it intensifies it more but I, since I was two years old you know, I used to fall asleep trying to imagine nothingness and infinity so you know different perceptions of God and, and the thing you learn is as you grow you know how dedicated are you, you know, if you want to see stuff if you want to really see that type of reality spirit matter you're always cleansing your ego I mean I'm always so I'm always tapped into it because I'm always cleansing my stuff. Even if I'm flirting with a woman, I'm always cleansing it, you know, what's the reality there? And not a lot of people are that intense, but for what I do, if you want to really, you know, progress that way, it has to be that intense, you know, I mean, because at, at the level I'm at, and I don't mean like the hierarchical level, I mean my experiences, what I've been through, some of the pains I've been through, um, I might as well die if I'm not going to do that. What's the point of living if I'm not doing that? Because other I'm just sort of wasting 20 years hanging out. And the other hand is also by doing that, I've had so many beautiful magical experiences that, you know, the beauty I've seen, it doesn't really make any difference now. Um, so, you know, but I'm always tapped into it. Always tapped into it. It's perfect. No problem. Man. Good to run into you, my friend. Yeah, very nice running into you guys.